Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, in this Diecast Emporium review. We're going to be taking a look at another series of Diecast Masters Transport Series models. These are going to be exclusively the trailers. So what Diecast Masters has done is they've offered you, the consumer, the Diecast fan, the opportunity to buy just the trailers if you don't want to buy, say, the set that comes with a truck and the trailer. They have offered you the 53-foot dry cargo van, the 53-foot reefer van, the flatbed trailer, and the container trailer all by themselves. And there is a couple differences in these, actually, and we'll get into that. So the first one that we'll take a look at, these are all item number 91021, which is the dry cargo van. 91022 is the reefer van. 91023 is the flatbed trailer. And yes, you guessed it, 91024 is the container trailer. So they all come in this, to be honest, rather plain Jane white packaging. And you can see the when the model's in there. Very clearly, you can see it in there. It says Transport Series up on top. And the back of the packaging has the other vehicles in this series. However, it doesn't have the container trailer listed on the back, but it does have the other three. All right, so with that out of the way, let's again take a brief look at these trailers. So again, this is the 53-foot dry goods container tra or dry goods trailer. So it is mostly a die-cast metal piece. The highlight of this trailer in particular, without question, is the high-quality decal application. And here you have super heavy in the triangle up on top. Caution 9-6 high container here. If we move towards the front, right up on top here, you have what appears to be a simulated fleet number of 3000R. And you have your DOT striping as well as your lights. It's symmetrical on the other side. On the back of the trailer, you have 53 foot as well as other information here and a nice decal here. Now the doors of all of these trailers, if they have doors, unlike the flatbed and the container trailer, they do open. And you can open up them all the way to the side, so you can pose it having the trailer loaded if you wish to do that. The underside of the trailers have plastic landing gear, which can be folded back if these are hooked up to a Diecast Masters truck. Or, as in this case, folded down if the trailer is stationary and by itself. So that is a look at the 53-foot dry goods trailer. Let us again look at the reefer trailer. So this, very similar to the other one, has your same triangle graphic here, your same square here, also your 3000R fleet number. What differentiates this is the fact that it has the square reefer unit on the front of it. Again, that is a die-cast piece. It's not plastic, so that's done up really, really well. And also, you have your lights here. Underneath, again, very similar. The same style landing gear and the same style hitch, so this will fit a die-cast master's tractor. All right, on to the flatbed. This is one of the heaviest of the trailers, as most of it is die-cast as well. You got a nice simulated bulkhead here. The wood grain finish up on top isn't in fact wood, it's plastic, but it looks good. All of the silver paint finish is very high quality, and you have your stripes here. Your spread axle has a simulated toolbox here, but it doesn't open. Underneath, again, your landing legs and your realistic tire tread pattern. On the back, you have rubber mud flaps, your lights, and your protection bar. On the front of the trailer, you also have some small decals here for your hookup lines. Again, these aren't drilled through for holes like on some other trailers but at least an attempt has been there made so that you do have some detail there. 
Finally, the last trailer, and this is what's different, or the, the most substantially different from the container trailer that you would get in the set with the trucks, is those container trailers are yellow. This one is very obviously black, and it looks very good in this black finish. But just like those other trailers, if you do have a container, and you do buy a container, it does fit on there perfectly, and it does look really, really good. But the container trailer is predominantly die cast. If you haven't seen the review of them, this piece right here, your kingpin can be moved to any of the three other predetermined holes, so it'll fit a tractor of your choice. On the front, you do have some light details, and again, you have some holes. Those aren't drilled through, they're just painted to add some detail. So, there you go, guys. Those are the four trailers as part of the Diecast Masters Transport Series. Again, you can buy these trailers separate. You don't have to buy the set if you don't wish to. So that's a nice offering from Diecast Masters to give you the option to do that. So these trailers, they retail, the dry cargo van retails for 65. The refrigerated chrome plated van, the 53 footer, is also 65. The flatbed trailer retails for 54. And the black skeleton container trailer, this one right here, retails for 44. So again, fair pricing on all of these trailers. If you guys have any additional questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be safe, and we'll see you in the next video.